Hi everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pass photos through Magic Info to the main Samsung DC32E uh, to its internal memory so you do not need to have your USB stick plugged in anymore. So this screen does have a crack in the lower left corner. So if you see in, during the video a crack or a line there, uh, it's because it's cracked. So I still use it. I'm going to keep on using it for my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So while we first get started, you are going to plug in your USB uh, to the back of the screen. So I'm gonna let, while it turns on, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. But before we plug it in, as you can see, you notice in the right corner, the time is not there. It's super important that you have the time set. Oops, it went away. So it's super important. Let's go back to source and select it. It's super important to have the time set on your screen. As you can see right now, it says minus, so that's not good. So as you can see, if you were to push on home, the clock must be set to use this, this function. So you can set it manually. But So as you can see, if you do not know if the clock's not set, look on the right corner, it needs to have the time. So I'm going to go ahead and go on menu, system, uh, time and clock and it should be manual if it uh, auto doesn't work but if you want to try auto then just choose your time but you can see it doesn't work it should be there already so I'm going to click on manual and I'll go ahead and insert the date so today is the uh, July 2022 so 06 09 p.m. so there you go there is the time. So now double check. You can click on source and the source you're on. There you go. Now when it's like that, that means you have the time set. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in our USB stick on the back of the screen. <clears throat> now, there we go. It's opening up. So these images are already on the system. I just erased one so I can show you. So I have these pictures of 4th of July. Um, all these are already on the screen, but it was just for an example. So I want to go ahead and send this one to the screen. Uh, this one. Happy 4th of July. So I want to send... Th okay, so, there's... Um, this is not part of the picture. It's just the screen is broken. So I want to send this to the screen. So what you do is... So you can click on it. So you can see you can choose the picture you want. You can click on it and it'll open it up. But if you want to open it, you're going to go up to options so you're gonna go up oops no uh, options and place selected send delete and settings you're gonna push on send it's going to tell you send no item selected so all these are already on the they're already on the screen but I'm gonna go to this one, that's not on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead on my remote and push select. You can see it has a check mark and it says one item selected. So you're gonna click on send. So it's telling you the total size of this image or the images that you select and how many space, how much space is available on the screen. So the DC version does not even have a gigabyte built in, but the DM version has four gigabytes built in. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Uh, videos can play on this DC version, but uh, videos cannot be super long because then you need, uh, and then you're going to have to have your USB stick plugged in the whole time. The whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and send it. I hope that I hope that made sense. So what I mean is that the DC version does not have a full gigabyte built. It doesn't even have one gigabyte. So that means videos that are super long won't let you fit in. I'll go ahead and show you an example right now. So as you can see, it send it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to try an example and see if it works. So I'm going to put a... Uh, I hope this looks familiar if you watched my other video. <laughs> They're still here. I think it's this one. I have to click it. Just to show you guys, yeah. So this is the one I did the video on on how getting started with your Samsung DC thirty two E. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and check it out. So, uh, oh no, it was this video? I think. Yeah. So let me show you. So you can see it's playing it right now because it's on the USB stick. But 
if I go up to options again, like I showed you, so this is how you send it. You go up to options. We're going to go up to options <clears throat> and send. And then you're going to choose the picture or video you want. So I'm going to go down to the video and then send. As you can see, it's a long video. Oh, this one actually lets you. It lets you send it. But I'm going to go ahead and send it so you guys know how to send it. So you push start. And as you can see, it says sending from USB to internal memory. So let that go. With photos, it goes by fast, but videos might take a little bit longer. So you can see, successfully sent, and then you push on OK. And then, now this is an unboxing video. So I'm going to push send, and then this is where I'm talking about. And you click on send. And as you can see, I'm able to copy. It does not have enough space. And it won't let you. So as you can see, that's pretty much it. So now, let's say we want to take out our USB stick. So again, I'm going to show you again one more time. You click on send, on options, send. And then I'm just going to put this... Uh, we're open, and then you're going to go up to send, select, and then you push on start. So you can see sent, you push on OK. So then that's pretty much it. So then now you can go to the back of the screen and take out your USB stick. As you can see, USB device disconnected. And now these are the ones that are, oh, it's on. So now these are the pictures and videos that are on this, that are in the oops. Uh, built into the screen now. So as you can see, if you want to make sure you can push on exit, there's nothing more in there. There's no more USB plugged in. So you push on home. There you go. So now these are built in or sent to the screen. Now, where's the picture that I wanted? There it is. So there we go. And the video should be in here too now. No, nope, that's not it. It always gets stuck on that. <laughs> that's a GIF. <laughs> Like those moving pictures, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. It's gonna get stuck. Okay, we should be good. I just I uh, turned it off and turned it back on. So again, you click on home if it's going to work. And okay, we'll connect it. I know. Oops. It better not say loading. <laughs> okay, we're good. So now let's see if our video is here. Click on the right video. There it is, Roblox, down here. And there you go. Now it should, there you go. There's our video with our USB stick not in anymore. We send it, I think it does have. Yeah, so it does have sound. It is passed to, to the screen. We no longer need our USB stick. As you can see, our USB stick is out and it's working. Oh God. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, if you Now, if you want to delete, so this is how to send it to the memory and how to delete. To delete, you go up to options again, but this do without your USB plugged in. Do not do it with your USB plugged in. You're going to go up to options. Now to delete, and then you're going to, same thing, select what you want to delete. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and delete, uh, oops, just this side, uh, this, come in, we're open. You're going to select it. So you can see delete one item selected. You click up to delete. It's going to tell you file cannot be recovered after deleted. After being deleted, continue. And it's going to tell you how much space is going to be available again. Just for erasing that, I'm going to put yes. Deleting and it won't be there anymore. So please do or please remember to do that without this being plugged in. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.